Today is June 7th, 2024, Canada, baby. Okay, guys. All right, all right. Um, oh, I get tangled up in this ankle bracelet here. I'll tell you why in a second why I'm wearing it. Okay, um, your Tent City weather report. Okay, guys. Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know, uh, what the weather is going to be. Guys, I got the old, uh, the old ankle bracelet on today, okay, guys, because, uh, well, from what I'm gathering, okay, uh, they're still going through with this online harms bill and, uh, you know, people that they think could be a threat for things that they say could have house arrest, okay, guys? House arrest, because then I wouldn't have to worry about my bill, so the joke's on you guys! You know, to do something and I'll do it more, you know what I'm saying? How much I'm going to get done today, because the more I talk about Trudeau, the more I think I gotta call the doctor to make an appointment to get some sort of topical cream, because every time I talk about him, I get irritated. Talk about today? Well, all sorts of K, because, uh, well, you know what, uh, once a day in Canada without a bunch of bull, right? Right. We're going to go over my Facebook feeds, a few comments from the followers, and uh, we're going to go over the Jerry report, and uh, I'm going to end off with um, something that's quite disturbing about the two kids that were, um, that died uh, in an Ontario hospital getting their tonsils uh, and adenoids removed, okay guys? I want to end off with that because that should should not have happened. Great cherry report, uh, game one. Uh, I don't know if it's been starting like any of the last games. It's been around 7.30, 8.30-ish uh, Eastern time, okay, guys? So, but uh, you can look that up, right, guys? You can look that up. Fortunately, I don't have any Edmonton uh, gear to wear, right? So uh, I improvise and I got my blue and orange on, okay, guys? It's uh, not really in the budget to go out and get some uh, Edmonton, uh, you know, fan gear. I had to buy pens the other day because, well, you know, you know how I scratch my stuff out. Well, I didn't even know should I get to, should I buy pens? Is this a need or a want? But it's kind of a need. I kind of caught a little bit of a uh, House of Commons yesterday. Not a whole lot, but then, you know, I take a look at uh, what other people are saying that are credible, like Alberta News and Views, uh, you know, all that good stuff that I post. Canada Proud, um, Canadian Crime Watch. Okay, guys? Anyways, but uh, when I was watching the House of Commons, you know, there's all that uh, interference going on with our last couple of elections. And, uh, well, um, it looks like there's a thousand page documents, a uh, thousand pages of documents not being released in the foreign interference. And it seems like, from what I kind of pieced together, the Liberal NDP um, are not releasing who these MPs are. But there's a Randy that comes up. Hey, we're going to scoot down my uh, Facebook page, and I just posted this morning, uh, what time? 50 minutes ago, because it's uh, 7.08 a.m. Eastern Time, guys. Okay, I uh, posted Sturgill Simpson, uh, keep it between the lines, and uh, you know what I like about Sturgill is he uh, he's, keeps a country, okay, guys? Country is a sound, not a look, guys. Okay, uh, and then I posted about an hour ago, Jamil Giovanni from Durham, Ontario. He just got elected, okay, guys? And he's doing all sorts of incredible stuff. Uh, you know, he, uh, he seems to have been born to be in the House of Commons, guys. And he talks about the neighbors to the west of Durham and Ajax and uh, I forget the other one, but that's where uh, Mark Holland and uh, Jennifer O'Connell are from, okay, and Mark Holland uh, doesn't want us going on uh, road trips because he thinks families are going to burn the planet, and then Jennifer O'Connell, I think, uh, well, I'll have to go down and come back up because that's a good or two about the CBC, okay, uh, Jennifer O'Connell, I said, this is liberal Jennifer O'Connell, ladies and gentlemen, after these comments, I think it's as safe as a safe supply to put Jennifer in the category of women that you can't trust. Hey, Jennifer, boo-hoo, get over it. Because that was Jennifer's comment about, um, well, let's just read it. I got this from Canada Proud, and Canada Proud had put this, and I saw it from Michelle Ferrari, because she's in House of Commons every day, too. And, you know, I watch the House of Commons as boring as that can be, because it's the same thing every day. Is uh, Jennifer O'Connell, the Trudeau Liberal MP from Pickering, uh, Oxbridge, 
During a meeting on foreign interference, O'Connell began heckling conservative MPs who were demanding the names of foreign assets to be released to the public, telling them, boo-hoo, get over it. Maybe I have to resign over that, okay? We have had possibly two, and I believe it has been two election interferences, because everybody's like, well, how did Trudeau get in? Because I didn't vote for him. And I would have voted uh, against him in the last election, but I was hospitalized, and I took my voting card into the hospital, but nobody was there from... Elections Canada to take my vote. This is a woman that is representing Canada and not doing a very good job because she seems shady AF just like the rest of the Liberals. I'm going to scoot back up because I missed one here. Okay, I posted uh, yesterday uh, and this is a true story because I had to Google it just to see if, it, if I was... You know, just to make sure that uh, Canada Proud was up on their game and like they always are, they are. They got the news right. Okay, guys. So I said, true story. The news um, don't like talking about the news, but they sure like talking sex, just like the liberals. Okay, guys. And what that was about is the CBC is encouraging their followers to sign up for something called the Horny Newsletter, a publication which seeks to... Eliminate the shame around sex, horniness, and erotica. This is on our supposed to be like a big, uh, big Canadian news outlet. Well, it was at one time, and uh, you know they're CBC kids, so I think the kids would probably get onto that too. Why are we talking about all this sex, 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 sex? Got kids that are learning about sex too early on. Okay, guys. All right, and. Kids need to be kids, and we need to preserve their innocence as long as we can, okay, guys? See the school boards that are going after all of these, uh, you know, online apps that are harming the kids. Maybe start looking at the places that you resource. Good. And maybe stand up with your union and maybe be a voice for the kids that you serve and the families in your community that are struggling. Uh, man, this was from Canadian Crime Watch, and again, you know, it's not safe for the kids. Man sexually assaulted elementary school child at playground. Okay, just on Wednesday, I told you about a 15-year-old girl in the Vancouver subway or whatever it was and was groped by somebody, and that person was arrested and released, okay? Then, this one, man sexually assaulted elementary school child at the playground, and... You know, you gotta watch out for those playgrounds, because you might have all those needles around from all the safe supply. And then I posted, uh, Canada Crime Watch, or sorry, Canada Proud, Pierre Grills Freeland on the liberal scandals, and she starts talking about the Edmonton Oilers, okay? And I just noticed there was a guy in the House of Commons yesterday, he looks like he's a... You know, a big uh, strapping young buck, and it uh, looks like he goes to the gym more than he, you know, sits down and does work, okay? I don't know what his name is, but he started talking about the Edmonton Oilers and House of Commons. They're just trying to be cool, guys, and try to uh, connect with people. They're not doing a very good job, those. So don't use our hockey, okay? And I also uh, saw, and I didn't post it, darn it. Um, about how the CBC didn't cover game six, was it, of uh, Edmonton's last game, okay? Hockey is our, is Canada stupid on there about all this horniness and erotica. It's from our Facebook friends, okay guys? This was the video on Mark Miller who talked about uh, more immigrants coming and, uh, you know, becoming permanent residents here. Um, and uh, reducing the uh, language requirements to get in, okay? And, like, we're already a full house, okay, guys? Everywhere you look. What's our friend Patricia saying? Uh, and I wrote it down, Patricia, so I wouldn't forget you, okay? But Patricia said, what is the screening process? Yeah, I'd like to know that, too. I don't think there is one, Patricia. Another desperate measure. Who are these people who are coming in to work and care for our seniors? Is there a screening process? Security checks? Scary. I'm going to tell you what Lori thinks. Okay. 
and this is in, uh, in uh, you know, response to uh, Christian Freeland and the Edmonton Oilers uh, comment. What time are we at? Okay. Lori says, um, she thinks we're dumb. Everyone knows she's the dumbest yet. Well, maybe a tie with her and the other dumbass. <laughs> Thanks, Lori, for your comments. And uh, Gordon, I see you all the time, bud. And, uh, well, Shelly Welly, you know, uh, ride or dies, right, Shelly? Now, for me, the biggest concern of the week is Canada Proud posted it, and I've heard it, uh, you know, uh, since. McMaster's Children's Hospital has suspended all tonsil and adenoid surgery after two of their pediatric patients died shortly after receiving the routine surgery. How did that happen? And like I said in my comments, guys, in the comments, people are saying, is it because we are hiring based off diversity, equity, inclusiveness, okay? We're no longer hiring people based on skills, okay, guys? Number one, that's that's kind of what my guts are telling me what kind of is going on. Two, is it a reaction from the COVID vaccination? Who knows, guys? Who knows, right? Right. But this shouldn't have happened. Um, and this something like this probably hasn't happened since like the 80s, right? We need to be held accountable for this, okay? Not just the people that uh, were responsible for uh, these children dying, but also the people that are hiring these people, okay? There's a whole bunch of stuff, and you know what? Come Roll down, right? Families whose worlds have been upside down, turned upside down from this careless, senseless tragedy. You stay true. Get to talking and uh, could we do some research, guys? Okay, guys, and make sure the kids are doing there so that this doesn't happen again. Okay, guys.